Good morning everyone, myself Mudlikar Reddy. In this video, we are going to discussing about GitLab dashboard overview. Let's see the demo. Earlier, we have created one account, right? GitHub account, sorry, GitLab account. So I have logged in that account. Remember, I'm logged in with my username, password of Gmail, but in real time, we'll be logging with our office credentials. Okay, I mean to say office uh, mail ID password, okay? In GitLab also, we'll be use either AD, Active Directory login, or we can use the LDAP. Using LDAP, you will be logging with that particular account, okay? Next one, we go to here. Uh, here we have my profile, edit the profile. You can see what are the options is available. First one in profile, you can, if you want, you can upload your uh, photo here. If you want, you can change that status as well here, okay? And also you can change whatever you want. If you want to change your name, you can able to come, come here and you can change it. If you want to display your Gmail ID to the public, everyone, you can give it here. Everything you can update here if you want, okay. And coming to the account, in this particular account, if you want to set up the two-factor authentication, you can set up currently to disable. The main uses of this one for security purpose, we can set up this two-factor authentication, okay. And next one, if you want to delete the account, you can delete it from here, okay. If you want to change the name also, you can change it here. Currently, it is DevOps only. Later, if you want to change, you can change that particular username. This username should be unique only for entire globally, okay. And coming to the billing, you can see here billing. Currently, we are using free of free so we are not seeing any billing info. We haven't subscribed also. That is the reason. Nothing will be there here. Okay. Next one, applications not required. Leave it chart access tokens. If you remember in Windows, sorry, in GitLab, sorry, GitHub, we have we'll in GitHub we will be create a personal token. Same thing here. If you want, you can create the token. Example, I am I'm giving here MM ready. Okay. That token expired date I'm giving today only. Okay, 20. Just I, I'm giving that particular permissions, whatever we want to require that particular uh, token permissions, give it, it will be generated one ID. Okay, we have created that particular token. Okay, what is that personal token we have created? If you want to delete, you can delete it. Okay, I hope you understand that from today, it will be expired in four weeks. By default, it is 30 days, it will be expired later. Okay. Fine. Next one in emails. If you want, you can see that your emails. If you want to add the particular emails, you can add it here. And password, if you want to change your password, you can come here and you can change it. Notification, if you want, if you get any notification, you can able to see here. You will be receive the notification to this particular mail, devopsmurli.com, other at gmail.com. And SSH is not required. Active sessions. Active sessions is nothing but who has logged in this particular record. Example, I have logged in this particular account in this particular uh, November 28, 3 p.m. Okay, 8, 3 a.m. And authentication logs, if you want to see the logs, you can see currently we don't have anything. Okay. Uses quotas, here you can see that uh, what is the difference. Like oh, currently we are using open, right? Free, free one, right? It will be show what are the limitations here. You can able to know. Okay, these are the options is available in settings. And also if you want, if you see here, we have a multiple options, project or repository, both are same. If you want to create, you can create project or repository. And if you want to create the group, you can create here. Example, I'm creating the group, new group. Okay, here, you, if you want to create a group or if you have a already existing, if you want to import that particular group, you can import it. Currently, I'm creating that uh, new group. I'm giving here DevOps. Example, I'm giving here DevOps. And then come down here, private repository. Here we have a multiple roles. Which role we want to provide? For example, I'm a uh, software developer. You can select here. If you are DevOps engineer, you have to select like this. Okay. This will be only for just for me, or it is only for uh, or you are giving to the your uh, organization level. You are creating this particular group. Usually, I'm creating myself. That is the reason it's selected there. And if you want to give that, what the use? Uh, I mean. What are the uses of creating this group? Which purpose you are creating? You can choose here, okay? Currently, I'm creating group. Inside the group, you can create a multiple projects. Okay, projects are repositories. This is the group, okay? Audit right, any questions? In this particular group also, if you want to see here group information, you can see that particular group information, what are the things available? Okay, members also who, who are accessing for particular this uh, group. Currently, I am created, right? I am the one owner of this one, that is it. That is the reason it is showing owner. In case if you want to invite the people, invite members, you can, you can give that. And here we have a multiple options. Majorly, if you observe here, in this particular role, we have a guest. Guest means, for example, you are working on one of the projects. You, you are 
taking help from someone okay you can uh, you can give that uh, guest access to them once the particular uh, person is completed help to you then we can remove that one that particular user okay reporter reporter is nothing but if you want to uh, this particular uh, group who is the reporter we can give it like this if we if you want to provide the developer access you can give the developer in case if you want to give the maintainer access you can maintain it. maintainer having all the permissions like he can able to match the particular pr but developer he don't have access to match the pr he is only access access to just raise the pr okay maintainer owner having the full permission okay example i'm giving guest and here if you want to give that expired date you can give it or else you can leave it okay just invite here you have to give that particular user okay we have a multiple user set you have to provide the particular user and then you have to invite them okay fine right and next one if you got any issue the particular major request if you are any major request major request or pull request both are same you can call it as a pr pr is nothing but pull request raise the pull request then they will be merged to particular branch okay cacd it will be under uh, different topics in gitlab okay go to the settings in this particular settings if you want to delete if you want to add go to the advanced if you want to change that particular url you can you can change it if you want to transfer from one namespace to another namespace you can change it okay if you want to delete the group you can delete it. for example i'm deleting here delete and typing here once you delete you can't revert back until unless you reach out to gitlab team okay then confirm now it is deleted right i hope understand right next you have a multiple options uh you have issues if you got any issues you can see okay uh, here you can see that anyone assigned to you you can able to see here anyone uh, given the requester for you i may review the request you can see here okay same gitlab github almost similar only okay the use cases both are similar okay fine right these are the uses of i mean uh, gitlab dashboard if you have any question feel free to comment i will try to respond as soon as possible next video i will show you like how to create the repository and i will showcase uh, one by one i mean explain that repository part okay thanks for watching this video we'll see you next video